good morning good morning this is uh another entry of btv btvv and i am headed to work again i don't have my beanie <laughs> and i tried really hard not to put it on today but i said that the other day was my last day wearing that beanie to work so i gotta go to work and spruce this up before my client um gets in but ooh, hold on um one second reading a uh, in a light reading a uh, message from a client um <laughs> i have been listening to motivational um motivational no, speakers because i think that by hearing other people's stories and testimonies and how they cope with just uh being able to get up every day and push forward that it sometimes can you know uh turn a light bulb on and uh it can resonate with you to where you're thinking about it constantly um and you know today is one of those days business is slowing up um for this week and you know a lot of times you get stressed when that happens as a hairstylist because that's your way of making money but for me i think it's it's more so time it's like God giving me time to do the things that I need to do away from work. And I am grateful for that because when I'm busy, I'm busy. And when I'm not, I'm, I like to make sure I'm doing other things that I have to do. Even though sometimes it's hard when you had a downtime, you kind of just want to do nothing. But, you know, for years and years, I was doing nothing. And I mean, when I say nothing, I wasn't persevering or I wasn't um, doing the things that I needed to do consistently so right now it's more about just trying to push forward and keep finding new ways to be uh, self motivated um, so when I'm listening to these motivational um, speakers I am thinking of in the terms of me um The goals that I have are so broad, you know. I have so many uh, goals, and it's like, even though I have so many goals, I know that I have so many um, steps to get to those uh, and be successful and that's what I'm looking at I'm looking at okay so I have to do this that this that and then I'm gonna be good and um so I'm really really um trying my best to stay positive and stay out of trouble and stay out of mess and stay out of people's business you know I'm just trying to stay in a state of zen and so Sometimes the people that you talk to day in and day out, I mean, sometimes they can be very negative. Um, sometimes it can be very draining when you have to hear about, you know, the bad things that are going on or, you know, people's relationships, whatever. And some, when you listen to those things, it makes you feel grateful or it, it makes you take a look at your own situation and be like, oh, you know, maybe I should really um step up my game or maybe i should you know have this conversation with this person if i'm feeling this kind of way instead of just letting it you know just keep going you know what i mean and so i haven't really been talking to a lot of my friends recently because you know i don't know i think when things happen and some people they just don't want to open up about what's going on you know and it's like you don't want to pry people business and you don't want to be bothersome so i've learned to instead of just trying to forcibly call people just to say hey how you doing whatever i'm like if if you if i've reached out to you and i've you know tried to speak to you and 
and you just seem like you're going through something and you really don't want to be bothered, I'm going to give you the time and the space to work out whatever you have going because you might not want to necessarily disclose that to me. And that's and that's fine. I did speak to one of my friends about that one particular instant and she said everybody doesn't everybody's not that open. Everybody doesn't talk about, you know, certain things. And I was like, "You're right. Some people are open book and some people are like a closed fist." And and I did tell her um sometimes when you have that type of relationship, you don't want to you don't want to um if i if if i'm not if you're not giving the same thing that i'm giving i i really don't want to to have that same open conversation with you because i feel like it's one-sided she said i shouldn't feel that way but i'm just like i'm just saying if you're gonna be generic with me i feel like i should be generic with you because that's the tone you set for the relationship or the friendship or whatever ship. and she was like well you know you might that person might want to be open and i say yeah but the thing is is when somebody's sitting back on a on a sideline listening and absorbing everything that you're saying they don't want to disclose anything about what's going on with them, but they it's like they have all this ammunition about you. And I'm not saying that they're trying to use it. I'm not saying that it's something that happens. I'm saying that that's what I be thinking, you know, because if I don't know anything about you, you know, I I don't know what's going on, you know. Um, and it's not saying that it, I want to know something about you to use it as ammunition. I'm just saying when you're in those type of situations... Um, you have to take an assessment of your friendship. You know, in certain friends, you can be really open with certain friends. You just have to be like, hey, girl, what's going on? Hi, bye, family good, life good. Cool, girl, talk to you in a couple of days. Other friends, you're like, girl, I got to talk to you, girl. You know, I just want to get your opinion. And you have those friends. But when you put one toward the other, I don't know. For me, I feel like, why even say anything um in depth like you know hey how how is life going like what's going on with such and such what y'all got going and it's always something super generic and it's like she said oh well you don't want to bother anybody and i was like you know what you're right you know i have to take that in in into perspective when i'm thinking about what i'm saying to people I don't want to be a bothersome and and I don't want I don't want to be a bothersome but I don't want people to feel like they're bothering me if they have to talk to me about something serious. So, I said all that to say just try to give people space and during that time you're reflecting on what's going on with you and that in turn allows you to do other things like listen to motivational um speakers read books to um just feed your soul um that can help you mentally feed you um be appreciative of those interactions when they happen and when they're not happening be appreciative of the space and the the um the clear headedness that you have at that time because now it's kind of like instead of people you know flooding in with their problems or situations or whatever you can kind of decompress it and push what what's there out and then when they come around again you can you're better able to receive it and you're better able to uh understand and verbalize whatever it is they're, they're needing from you or not even needing from you just needing you to listen so you know i really think that's my um thought for the day my my to to just really just listen and and just try my best to pour in positivity and motivation so this is a i think this is an eight video um coming to you with the ninth video uh, very soon because I think I want that one to be in a different setting other than me going to work maybe it'll be happening at home and um or maybe at the salon so I'll be seeing you guys soon if any of this is helping you or giving you some sense of clarity or helping you um just look at things a little bit differently please like comment and subscribe thank you